guys. So um, I wanted to um, do another video for you. Um, yesterday I did a video, um, just kind of like a prevention awareness video and show you guys what happened to me on Monday. Um, if you haven't watched that video, I just uploaded it yesterday, um, but, excuse me, um, Monday we took the kids to the beach and I got seriously sunburned. <laughs> I haven't been to the beach in probably three years. And, you know, I lathered my kids up in the sunscreen and I, I was just like, all right, you two go play. And I, pregnancy brain completely made me forget to lather myself in sunscreen. I just lathered up my kids and then I was like, all right, y'all go play in the sand. And I just sat down on my beach towel, my blanket, whatever, and was just relaxing. And we weren't there but maybe a couple of hours um, and... By Monday night, I was in serious trouble. <laughs> so, yeah. But the video that I made yesterday, um, I tried to do it outside on my porch with natural lighting. And it was just so dark, you couldn't even see how bad I was sunburned. It didn't look like it was that bad at all. So I was like, let me just come in here in my bathroom, which is actually being remodeled. We're getting it retiled and we're getting a new vanity put in here. So excuse the mess if you can see all this non-flooring that we have <laughs> but it's getting retiled soon but um i was like let me just come in here with actual lighting and maybe you guys can see what's happening and hopefully my kids will let me do this for like five minutes hold on buddy give me a few minutes okay so yeah i wanted to this so this will be day two of my sunburn uh For some reason, my legs have gotten the worst of it. <laughs> that hurts really bad. And then the fronts of my legs, oops. The fronts of my legs are pretty red and irritated and burning. Excuse the hair, but I cannot shave right now. I tried and it, it hurts way too bad. <sighs> so there's day two of my sunburn, well, let's see, today's Wednesday, so I guess te technically it's day three of my sunburn. <laughs> um, but really there's not much that you can do for a sunburn, except, um, you know, if, if you hit sun poisoning stage, then you're gonna have a fever, you're going to feel extreme fatigue, you're going to get dehydrated, so make sure you continue to drink water. <laughs> you're going to have a headache, you're going to feel dizzy or lightheaded, um, your skin might even blister, but that's more for people that accidentally fall asleep out in the sun and don't use sunscreen. Um, I read the article that I was reading about yesterday on my vlog said the doctors that see patients that get severe sun poisoning are usually the ones that fall asleep in the sun and don't, don't realize <laughs> that they've fallen asleep until they wake up and they're like, oh my gosh, and then they're like burnt to a crisp. Um, and you know, you actually feel like you've got the flu. You just feel weak and lethargic and you feel nauseated. So I didn't have all of those symptoms happening to me. Um, it didn't really hit me until yesterday morning when I woke up. Monday when we left the beach, I just, I didn't feel, 
that bad. I was like, oh, I got a little sun, you know, I'm a little burnt, but I'm not bad, you know. But as the hours passed Monday, by the time I went to bed that evening, I was in serious trouble. I tried to go to sleep that night, Monday night, and just the blankets rubbing against my legs and trying to roll over in bed. Um, I could not get comfortable whatsoever. My whole body just was on fire. Um, yeah, it was, it was really bad. And I feel so stupid for not remembering that I needed to put on sunscreen myself, but yeah, I'm paying for it. And I've des definitely learned my lesson. <laughs> so, but um, you can take um, Tylenol or Motrin for the pain. Just drink lots of fluids, um, water preferably, because that'll rehydrate you. Um, getting sunburned while you're pregnant, um, it can get, um, it can become a problem, but that's, that's if you are in the severe sun poisoning stage and you get really dehydrated because when you're dehydrated, it can actually cause you to go into preterm labor. So I haven't hit that point. I did wake up yesterday morning a little sick to my stomach. Um, I couldn't eat breakfast. I just felt crappy but and sore, <laughs> obviously. But I uh, took Tylenol and just started drinking lots of water. And I've been drinking water constantly since yesterday morning. And I'm feeling better, you know, physically wise, I guess. But just the outer part of my body is very sore, very tender. Um, wearing clothes hurts really bad. Um, you know, Kurt trying to even just give me a hug hurts. My kids don't really understand. They're four and two years old, so they don't understand that they can't brush up against mommy right now because I'm sore. <laughs> so my little ones would just come up and touch me and I'm like, ah, I just want to scream. But, you know, another thing you can do is do cool compresses on your sunburns or um, take a cool bath or a cool shower. Do not do a hot water or warm shower or bath because... You will seriously be in agony. Um, last night I tried to take a cool shower and just the water hitting my body was very painful. Sorry if you can hear that beeping noise. My Kurt's glucose meter, his uh, diabetes meter is reminding him to take his blood, his blood, but he's not here. So he's just going to beep for a few seconds. Sorry. Um, so yeah, I just, I, but I wanted to get in the shower and wash my hair and just do a quick wash on my body and, you know, <laughs> but it, it was seriously painful. Um, and then, uh, you know, obviously I can't shave right now because my legs are just killing me. And, uh, I've just been trying to rest as much as I can, but, you know, just getting up and moving around hurts and laying in bed trying to go to sleep and turn over and get out of bed because I have to pee being pregnant <laughs> to pee like three times a night. So I get comfortable in a comfy position. Then I got to get out of bed and roll over. And Oh my gosh, it's killer. You guys, it's seriously painful. So I'm not sleeping all that great right now. <laughs> so if I've got bags under my eyes, that's why <laughs> I'm not sleeping very well, but I'd say I'd give it a good week. I'd say by next Monday, <laughs> I should be good to, good to go and I'll be back to normal pretty much. Um, what I've been using though is, um, I went and bought me, just at the dollar store, I went and bought me some soothing aloe gel. Um, it helps you feel cool and it keeps your sunburn moisturized. Um, and it definitely, definitely helps, um, you know, just keep the pain to a minimum. So I've been applying that here and there. Um, and it, it does help. I definitely use it before I go to sleep because it does help me a little bit there too. But I wanted to quickly pop up this video and say hey and let you know how I was doing on day three of my sunburn. <laughs> As you can see, I'm still burnt to a crisp. So I'm still in a lot of pain, but getting better. <laughs> I'm getting a little bit better. Yesterday was the worst. So I'm hoping that each day I'll wake up and I'll feel a little bit better. So Yes, you guys, it is very important to remember to wear your sunscreen. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to let you guys go. Um, tomorrow I will be, I guess I could just go on and do my a quick update for you guys. Um, tomorrow I will be 23 weeks 
along with uh, baby number four. And I'm sure that you saw the belly, but since I may not be doing a vlog tomorrow because of how I'm feeling, <laughs> I'll do a quick belly shot for you. So there's the 23 week belly for tomorrow in case I don't get um, a chance or I just don't feel physically able to do a vlog for tomorrow I may not um, but there's the 23 week belly um, Isabella's doing great she's moving all the time and kicking me and at night is her busiest time she just rolls all around in there at night time when I'm trying to sleep um, she gets the hiccups all the time and um, I'm definitely feeling bigger with the pregnancy I'm feeling um, you know, the shortness of breath has gone away for now, <laughs> but um, I definitely feel um, that I am bigger because it takes me a little longer to get up off the couch and move around, do my, my daily chores. Um, it's taken me a little longer. I gotta, I gotta go slower with things that I do and I can't just run around like I used to. So I definitely feel pregnant that way. <laughs> and my indigestion is still here. It has not gone away since day one of the pregnancy. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Um, and I had barely eaten this morning. I had like, I made banana nut muffins for breakfast. So I've had like two muffins this morning. That's all I've eaten and I'm already, I've already got indigestion. It's terrible. So yeah, I'm just convinced that I'm just going to have to deal with the indigestion until the little baby shows up. <laughs> Which is fine, because once I see her, I'll be like, oh, it's all worth it. I would do it all over again if I had to. So, but that's it, you guys. Um, hopefully, you guys are doing great. And um, subscribe if you're not a subscriber for my channel. Um, I would love to get to know you. And if you're new to my channel and you have subscribed, thank you. And uh, I love all of you guys. Thank you so much for watching my videos and following me on my journey with the pregnancy. Um, and I will talk to you guys um, next time. Bye.